Welcome everyone. I'm back again with another 12 by 12 layout for you and this time I, I am participating in the mixed media frenzy for the month of November and the theme is what are you grateful for? So of course I am grateful for my children. So as soon as I found out about the theme, I knew I wanted to get a cut file. So I went to Cut To You by Gwen and I got out that beautiful cut file that says, so very grateful for you. And I did that on my silhouette machine and I picked my photos. And unfortunately, this was the only good photo I could find of me with my children because I don't get a lot of photos taken of me with my kids. I'm usually taking the photos, but not the other way. And of course, as you would have seen, I went through my huge stack of papers and I decided I was going to go with a purpley theme because I thought that that went so well with this particular photo. So I decided that I was going to trim my photo because there was just a little bit too much negative space for me and I wanted to concentrate more on the photo than on the trees behind us in the background. And here I am going to back my cut file. So I picked this gorgeous paper. The paper is from Courtier Creations and it's from the Butterfly Gardens collection and it's paper 05A. This is the easiest way that I can think of to back a cut file. I traced the letters that were left over from when I did my cut file and I just put a tiny little offset and then I get my little scissors and I just cut around that and then I stick it onto the back of the cut file. And to me, that's the easiest way. But do not worry, I'm not going to show you the whole process. I will cut to the end product. Okay, it's all done. And I will admit, it did take me a while to back it, but it was well worth it. I love the end result. I really should start pre-planning my layouts because I didn't do it here and this layout took forever. So you would have seen at the beginning I showed you my papers and that background paper which I absolutely love is from 49 and Market Street. It's from the Irrevocable Beauty Collection and it's called Timekeeper. From the same collection I also picked the paper sonnet paper and you would have seen earlier I did land up fussy cutting all those beautiful flowers. Now I was lucky that I had two lots of that paper because the flowers are only down the bottom so I did cut into both of them just to remove all those flowers but as you can see I've got my top lot of flowers and here comes the bottom flowers and I love it. But I am feeling a little bit guilty about wasting some beautiful paper. Here comes the fun bit but I must admit it did take me a while. Now in my little palette there I have used some nuance what are they acid free water based dye this product is actually from canada i i got it as a gift from a girlfriend that went to canada and just got me the well i don't know if it's a whole collection but a whole lot of beautiful colors and i decided i better start using them so i wanted to mix in a little bit of blue and a little bit of purple so there's different shades of uh purples there. I think I've got two shades of purple and one shade of blue and I started off with the with the blue because I was trying to go by what's in my photos and my daughter's wearing pink and purple and I'm wearing denim and so is my son. So I was just trying to bring in some of those colours. So I got a little bit frustrated with my layout and I walked away because I just thought it wasn't working and when I came back I thought you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to tone it down with some gesso. So that's what you see me doing here, I just grabbed my white gesso and I'm using my finger just to give it a nice softer look to the layout and then I am happy with it. So my top layer was finished and it was time to work on the bottom layer but I didn't show you that whole process because it was pretty much the same as above and you do really didn't have to see it all over again. And I decided here to add some purple splatters. So I did it down the bottom and then of course I'm going to add some purple splatters to the top. Because I was being impatient, I got the napkin that was on my table and I'm just dabbing up the excess moisture and I really like the patterns that it's creating on my paper. Once I bring everything back in and I got my cut file, I decide that I have to do, of course, more mixed media. So I decided I was going to use my color blast little shimmer cubes that I've got. I'm not even sure if they're called shimmer cubes but anyway they are from color blast but unfortunately this wonderful product has been discontinued so I'm glad that I bought a whole heap of colors before they discontinued it. 
So this photo was taken at Mount Toma, that's close to the Blue Mountains, and that's the beautiful botanical gardens there. And yeah, it's not the best picture, but I love it. It's got me in it. And like I said earlier, I don't have a lot of photos with me and the kids. My son's not, well, he is looking at the camera, but because of the sun, he's got his hand over his face. And my daughter, well, she can't sit still to, for anyone. So she's just wriggling away, trying to get away from me. So even though my photo is not perfect, I decided I wanted to scrap it because it was a moment in our, in our history and that is what scrapbooking is all about. It's documenting the good, the bad and I won't always showcase perfect photos. I wanted a photo of me with the kids, this is the only one I could find and that's where the story goes this time round. From my stash I had all these white flowers and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use them and I'm going to change the colour of them. I don't know why because the, the, the white actually looks quite nice now that I'm looking on the video but at the time that I was making the, this layout I decided that I was going to make them all different colour, all different shades of purples and blues for some reason and I left this all in because I wanted you to see that sometimes when we are making our layouts we go in one direction and then completely change and as you will see I won't land up using these beautiful flowers. Well, I surprised myself. I didn't know I went in with another layer of splatters, but obviously I did. This is what the video is, proof of what I've done, because even I forget. But obviously in my brain, I must have decided I needed more splatters. So here I go. I brought everything back in, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do now? And I decided that this layout needed some more pink. So I'm going to be using my ink gold and the color is rosen quartz and i'm going to do some stenciling i love this stencil it is a kaiser craft stencil but i'm sorry i don't have the name of it i've got no idea what it's called it was just in my stencil folder and i thought yes i'm going to use it and i'm going to add some beautiful flares to or not flares what am i saying beautiful flourishes to my layout I just love peeling back the stencil and revealing the magic. It, to me, it's such a satis satisfactory feeling. I don't know. I'm probably mad. But let me know if you feel the same way when you're doing your stenciling, just to see how it's going to look once you peel that magic layer. So what I'm going to do, in the interest of keeping this video as short as I possibly can, I'm just going to cut to the end product because, really, stenciling is very repetitive. Once my stenciling was finished, I decided it was time to do some stamping. Now, this is a Kaiser Craft stamp, and I loved that stamp there with all the journaling. I just thought it was absolutely yummy. And I'm going to use this gorgeous ink. I was looking for a purple ink in my stash, and this is the only one I had. I didn't want to use any of the Distress inks or anything that was going to be activated with water, just in case I did some more mixed media. And I wanted it to be permanent, so I've just used this memento zinc. It's the only purple colour I had. So note to self, get some more permanent purple inks in my stash. So I went around and randomly added some stamping wherever I fancied, really. No really thought to it, I just stamped away. So it was time to try and add some embellishments to this layout, and I got out my little box of purple embellishments I tend to have all my little embellishments all in little or well, these little photo what do you call them photo storage boxes and I just have everything color coordinated so these flowers they had that little white edge thing that I don't like so I just fussy cut them out and then I inked it with some of this gorgeous ink that I was the same ink that I did my stamping with and I cut my flowers in half because I'm just going to tuck them underneath my photo. There was also a little butterfly that I added next to the G and the S and I thought that looks so cute and these are die cuts that were in that little box. The bottom one says, what's it say? It says, you make my heart smile. And then I had that gorgeous banner that says, so loved. And I'm so glad I've used it. I've had it on my desk and I've been wanting to use it and it's never worked. But for this layout, it was absolutely perfect and also went well with the theme of the photo of who I'm grateful for. And it's my children because, of course, I love them. 
the top die cut says wonderful and added a little butterfly and I added some thread in three different areas because I just thought that it needed a little bit of extra texture and the cheesecloth that I thought I was going to use just didn't work with this layout. It was just a little bit too bulky but the thread was just that perfect amount of texture. So back to my stash and I found this gorgeous little bottle of I'm going to call it purple diamantes for lack of a better word and I fell in love. I am surprised at what I have in this room but I'm glad I found them and I'm just going to use some glue and my little pickup stick and I put them down randomly everywhere wherever I felt like it. There was no rhyme or reason I just went around gluing and plonking them down and they just added that beautiful amount of sparkle. So I'm going to cut to the end because this was very repetitive and I'm sure it's going to get very boring as you watch me just gluing down diamantes. So here we've come to the end of the layout almost. I want to thank you all for watching and I'm sorry that it's been a long video. I do try to make them as short as possible but there was just so much that had to be done for this layout. Oh look, I almost forgot that I did ink the edges of my paper with this gorgeous Distress Oxide and I believe that the colour is Wilted Violet. Anyway, I might prove myself wrong with that one. Okay, I would like to take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you like what you've seen and hit that notification bell. Until next time, bye everybody.